I'll take my chances on the Republic. Deal me in. All right, I got some key news I want to hit with Gary Franchi and talk more about the film Don't Tread on Me, Rise of the Republic, and take your phone calls. Uh, I reserved comment about the police killing a seven-year-old girl um, serving a warrant in Detroit. I wanted to give this time. I do this a lot. Before I got into it, I wanted to give it some time. Didn't even take a day to come out. But the police basically killed her in cold blood. A lot of these people that join SWAT teams are idiots. And they use them too much. And we've talked about that. Turns out they killed her and lied about it, as usual. They had an A&E film crew with them. They were going to be big movie stars. They weren't even in the house when they shot her. And they knew there was a film crew, and they lied about it. I mean, I'm going to talk about it with Gary Franchi in a moment. Also, uh, speaking of lying, we have caught the Texas Film Commission lying yet again. We pulled up mainstream news articles where they admit the Texas Film Commission is funding the film Machete. Hey, Robert Rodriguez can make his race war film for division. But I have free speech to speak out against it. And we called the film commission. And they said, yes, we're funding it with state money. I know all his films are funded with it. Then we had the press secretary call us Friday. We talked to her, uh, Rick Perry's office, saying it wasn't true. And we added her comment to our article that went viral and was in the New York uh, newspapers, the Washington Post, and everywhere else. Drudge Report, on and on and on, Washington Post. We added that to that article. And got played by Rick Perry again. They're lying about it. And I have the San Antonio Express News from a year ago. I have Slackerwood. I have other mainstream news articles where they have the film commission at meetings and the head of the film commission saying they're funding it. Of course they're funding the stinking thing. We called there and they admitted it before we wrote the story. What do you think? We just make stuff up around here? Rob Dew got on the stinking telephone. All right, I'm sorry. I want to go to Gary Franchi. I mean, Gary, this type of stuff makes me really, really angry. A police A&E video crew at site of child shooting. The headline should be, this is from WLNS-TV, News, uh, News 6. This should be police caught lying, because I have the other articles from CNN, you name it, where the cops were saying it was an accident, that the mother jumped on him, and all these other lies. The A&E footage, the crime show, the first 48, shows a shot fired after police threw a flashbang inside the home, and I have other articles on this, seconds after, they flow a flashbang in, a cop. I've seen Texas cases where they shoot their own cop in the back and then frame the guy inside the house who didn't even have guns until a SWAT team guy told the truth. But, I mean, it's just, it's insane. Uh, Gary Franchi, your take on this. You know, why were they going in the house in the first place? Do we know? Oh, they claimed that they were uh, serving a murder investigation warrant, but it turns out uh, that the person wasn't there. Okay, so they, they obviously didn't bother to do any proper surveillance or do their homework and said they barge into the house and, and they shoot this young girl. Is that, is that the story then? Yeah, killed her, dead her in the hammer, shot her in the neck, blew her head off, basically. Oh, God. It, Alex, is, is, I'm sorry, this is a terrible tragedy. I'm sorry. It's disgusting and despicable. Um, I know we're talking about states' rights here, but this is a local, uh, local uh, police, right? Local SWAT. Yes. W w what's going to happen to these guys? Are they going to get promoted? They'll probably they get a get medal. Promoted? Yeah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, my issue well, is we've all seen them killing dogs in houses for a gram of marijuana. And that's right, basically, that. I've been corrected, that's two marijuana cigarettes. And, and, and they just shoot the corgi and the bulldog, and it, it's basically funny to them. This is the phony drug war, which, again, is another state's rights issue. Fourteen states have, are trying to decriminalize, do the same thing so we don't collapse like Mexico or China with their past drug wars. Uh, again, let's get into that along the lines of don't tread on me. Well, what I'm concerned with here is the, the overuse of aggression uh, by police. I mean, you, you're seeing it. There is an upward trend of this. I mean, they're, they're kicking in people's doors for, you know, a couple of marijuana cigarettes. They're tasering people at, at police uh, checkpoints or or just standard traffic stops because somebody doesn't want to sign their their rights away uh, on a ticket. Um, 
it's absurd the amount of, uh, look, the American people are fed up. And we document in the film. I mean, it, it all comes back to what's going on at the local level, at the state level. We need to get the American people fired up. We need to take this country back. And it's what line, what side of the line are you going to stand on? I mean, how much abuse are the American people going to take before we just say enough is enough? I mean, the Greeks over there, uh, I, I have family in Greece right now who, who cannot leave Greece. They are locked in their homes because, because people are, are rioting in the streets because of the, the socialist tactics of the international bankers that are going on right now. And it's, it's going to happen here. But we don't want that to happen. It, it, the American people have to rise up. Well, dealing with states' rights, matter. dealing with states' rights that are covered in the film Don't Tread on Me, so people understand this is the key. What's your view on the Arizona law, A, and B, have you seen my coverage of Machete? Uh, we've gotten the script, uh, and it clearly is trying to invoke a race war. Again, more divide and conquer. Well, the Arizona law, in, in my opinion, uh, it's needed. It is needed. Uh, as far as the first contact situation with the police. All the rhetoric I'm seeing from the opposing viewpoint is, oh, they're just going to start racial profiling. They're going to start, uh, you know, busting down illegals left and right. But there has to have, they have to have a reason. Well, that's why the cockfight with 100 people at it, 20-plus uh, illegal aliens, Arpaio arrested them all. Well, look... There, but that's first is. contact. I mean, that's first contact. They were there for illegal gambling, uh, the killing of animals, and there was drug dealing going on. Well, then they should be able to check the status. Look, my, my family came here a couple generations ago. They checked in at Ellis Island. They did it the right way. You know, come on, let's have some respect for the border. Let's have some respect for the, for the American culture. I mean, see, I'm seeing kids, stories about kids being kicked out of schools because they're wearing American flag T-shirts. Because it's because it's inflammatory. I mean, Alex, this country is is in a, a rapid descent, and if we don't do something now, we are going to lose it. We are going to lose the country we're fighting for. I heartily agree with you, and it's all covered. And don't tread on me, Rise of the Republic. Uh, you've got an organization of hundreds of thousands of people that are involved. Uh, you know, one of the you know the, in the top five or six in the country uh, with true activists that are really carrying the torch outside the left-right paradigm of constitutional liberty. I'm seeing exponential awakening. Uh, oh, absolutely. Where you're at, uh, give us a report on the type of uh, awakening you're seeing and the mood of the nation. Well, I, in, in all the statistics that I've seen through our show on the Reality Report, uh, through our website membership, it, it's it's a it's a constant upward trend. Uh, and that's only, that, I mean, that's directly related to the constitutional abuses the American people are, are experiencing. Uh, you know, we're having up to a thousand people a month joining our website because they're seeking solutions, they're seeking answers, and they're finding it with the other members at RestoreTheRepublic.net. Well, uh, you know, I told the story yesterday, but I'll briefly recap it. I took my son to a camp out birthday party in Wimberley. And it was doctors, lawyers, uh, professionals. Uh, you know, this was uh, an elite area of uh, Wimberley. But they're involved in the whole community. And everyone I was talking to, most of them didn't even know who I was. And, and, and I liked that because they didn't know who Alex Jones was. Some of them did. But uh, of the ten families, three of the families did and were fans. And I talked to all the families. They they knew everything about the New World Order. And I, and I talked to, you know, I was there most of a day and then part of a morning. So you're out there in the woods with families. You're, you know, you're talking to them, sitting there eating hot dogs and stuff by the creek. And they were so informed. And I asked them, I said, what percentage, uh, and some of them were, you know, were administrators and things, what percentage of this town is awake? And they'd say, mm, half or more are fully awake and we're waking up the other half. I mean, this is exciting. Well, you know what, Alex? I'm glad you brought that up because... Uh, I do have a, a, an excellent report for you, and your listeners are going to be the first to hear it. Uh, our magazine, Republic Magazine, just got picked up for national distribution by Books a Million. And just about a month or so ago, we got picked up by Barnes & Noble. So our message is going to be on every single newsstand at those national magazine distribution uh, companies all across the country.